Christmas was good, except for the fact that I got a kidney stone. Tell the kidney stone story. Uh, I haven't had time to really come up with a fake kidney stone story, so can I just tell you what like actually happened? And if you get grossed out, you just deal with it. Okay, so like three days before Christmas Eve, I'm not sure what day that would be, perhaps the 22nd, I had a lot of pain in like my back kidney and it woke me up. It was like back kidney, front, right. I thought I had appendicitis and then it just went away after like an hour and a half and I was like, well, shit, <laughs> guess I won't deal with that ever again and then just went back to sleep. And I was just like, damn, I must've had to like take a wicked shit or something. I don't even know what. Then uh, on Christmas Eve, it came back. So on Christmas Eve, after, Christmas dinner, I had like this really strong pain in my side after I took a piss. It was like right, you know, like kidney, kind of like up front right. I thought I might've had appendicitis, but I was just like Googling it and kidney stone was also an option. And my parents drove around like, I think 10 PM it was on Christmas Eve. It felt like there was like this fist in my back, just like someone's fist just like jangling around. It didn't, didn't feel good when it cracked too. Christmas, I was in the ER with a kidney stone. I went to the ER, there was like nobody there, dude. It was completely empty. Um, the entire time I was there, nobody was there. And then I was probably in the ER for like an hour and no one came in that whole time. And then when I left, no one was in the waiting room. It was kind of sweet. It was like I had a bunch of doctors on like my beck and call. Then, um, Shit, what was I talking about? I had a five millimeter stone, which they said technically classifies it as a large stone. And they gave me a 50-50 chance of passing it. They said it was like right outside my bladder. So like the way that it works is like it comes from your kidney, then it goes down this long tubey thing, and then it goes to your bladder and then you pee it out. That's how kidney stones work. So they gave me a strainer to like pee into. So it's just like this little like pee pee funnel. So like, you know, I don't have to like pee into my hands or anything because they want you to catch it so that you know that you peed out your kidney stone. And also they sent it to the lab for analysis. They sent it to like California or something. They run a bunch of laser tests on it and uh, yeah, so I don't know what they do with it exactly. It's supposed to tell me like what my, what the kidney stone's made of so I can like avoid it in the future. <laughs> they don't take a sip. I don't send them any pee. I just send them the stone. So, um, you know, not the best Christmas. It was kind of painful. They gave me Oxy and they gave me other stuff to make me feel good. And that it, that it did make me feel pretty good. It hurt still even after taking that shit, so. Probably was pretty fucking painful. So they gave me a strainer I had to pee inside of, so I'm peeing inside this fucking funnel for like, I don't know, every day. I'm drinking like a shitload of water. Yeah, it was rough. Pissed it out though. I peed it out on the 30th, and it was like nothing even happened. It's like I was just like, oh, there it is. I see it on my pee pee funnel. I'm pretty sure they told me that if you have a really large urethra, it might be easier for you. And my chode dick definitely has a large urethra, I think, so. All girth, baby. Finally, good for something. If there's one thing they say, it's, actually, what do they say? Finally, all the sounding paid off. Don't even say that. Yeah, I don't know. It didn't even feel like anything. It just came out, just big, big black dot thing, it's crazy. Yeah, you pee into a pee pee funnel, it catches the thing. I mean, I, what am I gonna do, sift, catch it, sift my hands in the toilet? I think that's what most of you assumed I was doing. But no, I was like, once we, once I passed the kidney stone, I was like, well, I guess I'll throw the strainer out. And my mom's like, no, 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 don't do that. What if you need it again? It's like, what in the fuck am I gonna use this strainer for ever again? Seriously? When am I gonna have to pee into a funnel? We can't use it for something else because I've peed into this thing for like a week. No, we're not straining spaghetti with my pee, my pee pee funnel. Yeah, I threw that shit out. Maybe I should have gave it away. That would've been kind of gross though. I don't wanna do with my pee pee funnel. No, I don't wanna piss into my hands every single time. I was peeing a lot too. It was so different from what I expected. Like I thought it was like when people get kidney stones, it's just like really bad at the end. 
But for me, it was like, it was like a week long process, which was way longer than I thought it would be. You think it was pea sized? Holy fuck no, pea sized. Are you out of your mind? It was five millimeters and that was classified as large. No, it's a lot smaller than pea sized, dude. Did you taste it? No, I did not think to taste it. Okay, so like there was some talk from my family when they saw my kidney stone, they were like, that is not five millimeters. And I was like, dude, how big do you guys think five millimeters is? My sister thought there were a thousand millimeters in a centimeter. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> yeah, I showed him my kidney stone. The moment I, I peed it out at like 3 a.m. and I woke everyone up. <laughs> I forgot to mention this part. It's like 3 a.m. my sister's door. I can't get open because the door's sticky. So I'm just like rattling the door. <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, who is it? And then I finally got the door open and I was like, I did it! I did it! I peed it out! And she was like, oh my god, you did it! Good job! The door was like stuck, I don't know. You know, some doors get stuck. I couldn't figure- Okay, it's like a double door and I couldn't figure out which door it was that was like, you know, one is like always, I don't know, it was confusing, all right? Don't worry about it. Did they clap for you in the bathroom? No, they weren't in the bathroom. It was like after the process was already done. They were proud of me though. I always thought you were a kidney stone kind of guy. I never thought it would happen to me. Kind of freaky. No, I sent it to a laboratory and they're gonna destroy it for science. Did you take a picture? I did take a picture. I tried to send it to people on Discord, but um, Discord said that I can't send profane images because they thought that my finger was a penis, but it was not a penis, obviously. Could have cropped your finger? Well, it was on my finger. It was on the tip of my finger. You should have kept it and put it under your pillow. I don't think I want to see the fairy that visits me. The kidney stone fairy. <laughs> the piss goblin. You peed it out and then held it? Yeah. Did you rinse it? No. <laughs> but I washed my hands afterwards. No, I did not taste it. So it hurt like hell? It hurt. I'm not gonna lie to you. It hurt. It just hurt when it was going to the bladder and not the end. You know, it was very different experience from what I expected. It was much longer than I expected, but also the ending was the easiest part, which is also not what I expected. How much water do you know? I don't know. I don't really keep track of that stuff. I just drink when I'm thirsty. Don't drink Dasani though. But I like Dasani, it's my favorite. Scale of one to 10, 10 is your worst pain. It's tough because the worst pain that I had was like when I went in on Christmas Eve and I didn't have any painkillers. That was probably like an eight. If we're saying like 10, I'm passing out into like shock or something. Eight is like something's really wrong, dude. And I need to go to the ER. This fucking hurts bad. That's what, that's what I was feeling. Nine would be like, I'm probably crying or something. Maybe a little bit below eight. I don't know, maybe like a seven and a half. There were some like female doctors I was talking to that said people said it was like equivalent of giving childbirth. No way, no way. That seems so much worse. No fucking way. Childbirth is fucked, yeah. I have a tiny urethra and I was like pissing out a razor. Oh God, that's gross. So I guess I did get lucky with the ending. Did you name the stone? No, give me some names. Piss baby, the philosopher's stone. The philosopher's stone's pretty good. I'm not gonna read any more of your replies. That's a good one. ZFG passed out two kidney stones at the same time. Whoa. I don't know if that's something to brag about. That probably really hurt. Deserve for not streaming. Deserve for not drinking enough water. 